St. Augustine compared the world to a book. He said, those who do not travel open only a single page. As a professor of Chinese history at Whitworth, it's my goal to bring students to China, whether on the seat of a plane or second best, to bring them to China in my classroom. I'm often asked why China matters to us here in America. Well, aside from the obvious uh, that China is now the second largest economy uh, on the, in, in the world and that it owns half, more than half of America's debt, studying China offers us a way to expand our global understanding of the landscape of cultural history. America has just over 300 million people. China has 1.4 billion. Since 1950, China's population has tripled, which has put a very large burden on our global environment. Among the things that have grown since 1950 is the population of Christians. Chinese Christians in 1950 equaled 4 million. Now there's an estimated 70 to 90 million Christians who are engaged in China's most pressing issues. For example, Christians are helping bring water to the 320 million people in China who have no access to clean drinking water. And they're developing an awareness that of the world's 20 most polluted cities, China has 16. And most significantly, Chinese Christians are among the happiest I've met in today's increasingly materialist society. Whitworth students are engaging China's pressing social issues, positive and negative, both from within the university's pinecone curtain and literally from atop the Great Wall.